218 people with albinism attended a health camp that did eye checkups, counseling, and screened for skin cancer. <laughs> Out of the 218 people who were screened at the camp in Apokolo village, Merikit sub-county Tororo district, 17 discovered they had skin cancer. 90% of these people died, died before the age of 40 years, and mainly because of skin cancer. Beatrice Natunda traveled from Mumbai to Tororo to have her son screened and collect a lotion for his skin. Actually, when we get together, when you look at each other, you, you really see that people are not able to get those lotions. The ultra sun lotions that cost between 30 and 70,000 shillings are expensive for the ordinary person. And that's why I urge you, government, to buy these equipment like uh, cryogun uh, to be able to kill precancerous cells that normally comes on the skins of persons with albinism. Many resort to using cups and sunglasses, but they cannot adequately protect their skin against direct sun rays. At the medical camp, the Every Child Ministries Uganda organization unveiled a locally made skin protective lotion that will soon be accessible. Samples of it have been submitted to the National Drug Authority for approval. It's healthy, it's natural, a natural mineral. We've called it uh, in his care sunscreen lotion. State Minister for Health Salo Pendi, who was recently appointed to State Minister for Minerals, admitted that government has not paid much attention to people with albinism. We even do not have the equipment to test whether I, as a person, has that gene of albinism in the country. Should the lotion be approved by the National Drug Authority, Opendi promised to have it procured in plenty and supplied free of cost. Patrick Senyondo, NTV Tonight.